Good morning, John Paul Pakibot here of Bagumbayan Dos, Maribago, Lapu, Lapu City, Cebu, Philippines. And this is uh, Maribago where we used to do island hopping para sealing jet ski and banana boat. And this is the damage of Typhoon Rai Odit. Most of the speedboat, yacht, jet ski are damaged. Also the bridge. Uh, it's dangerous to walk through the bridge. Then this were the pambos we used to uh, ride during island hopping. This one, this one, the other one is greatly damaged. The rest are on the dike. Sadly, it will cost uh, 1 million to 1.7 million to repair these palm boats. And there are more damaged palm boats on that side of the island. <laughs> then today is uh, high tide so I cannot go through there. Some of the resorts are all gone, just like that one. So this is really sad. And today is uh, January 1 already. The Typhoon Rai audit was happened uh, December 16. So the business is really hard to tourism is dying again after pandemic of two years after two years of COVID-19. Typhoon Rai and Typhoon audit. Uh, bring down the business once again so this is really painful I hope you will donate money to the boat owners most of this uh, boats cost uh, 1 million 700,000 1 million 1.2 1.7 million depending on the size please help us and I will be uh, putting the link of my Gcash account my PayPal account and my S2 account under the under uh, in the description box of this YouTube video. I hope you will help us uh, uh, rebuild the tourism business by repairing these pump boats. Thank you. Please share this to your friends or organization foundation that you think can help the our situation here in Lapu Lapu City. Thank you. Good morning, this is John Paul Pakibot of Bagumbayan Dos, Maribago, Lapu Lapu City, Cebu, Philippines. And this is uh, Nono Bibiloni, the father of Christopher Bibiloni one of my ping pong players and Christopher was the champion for the kids uh, category then uh, Nono's house is hit by the Typhoon Rai or Typhoon Odette then he has no job as of now because most of our uh, companies here or resorts are also not functioning we don't have uh, electricity yet and we don't have water and we're running out of food, so that's a big problem. How many kids you have, sir? How many kids you have, sir? He has six kids and his wife, no job, ma'am? No job, no job. He also has no job, so this is really a big problem. And he's asking for uh, 10,000 pesos for the repair of his house uh, and uh, 300 pesos uh, daily conception for uh, two months. So that's 300 pesos times 60 days. Hopefully he will find a job after 60 days. And once uh, you will send me money through my PayPal, GCAS or Eastwest uh, account, uh, I will monitor the progress of the repair of his house. And if ever you will give the 300 pesos <coughs> daily for 60 days, I will uh, show another video of him receiving the money. Then I will uh, record another video once his house is completed. So I will uh, put the link of my PayPal account, my S2S account, and my GCAS account on the description box of this YouTube uh, video. 
and thank you. We're really hoping that Nono Bibloni will receive money. So, thank you very much. You. Good morning, guys. Jan Paul Pakibot here, and Mam Elizabeth is asking for your help, financial support to rebuild this her house. This used to be her house, this one. Uh, they used to live here. Now she's living in this small uh, makeshift uh, home. And it's really almost one fourth of her original house. So she's not, uh, she's not asking for a specific amount of money. She just, uh, she will accept any, any donation you will give to her. So again, I will personally monitor the repair of her house. And if ever you will give money for daily consumption for two months, uh, I will directly give it to her. And I will put the my GCash, PayPal, and Swiss Bank account under the under the description box. I mean, in the description description box of this YouTube video. Thank you for your help. Looking forward for it. Thank you. We are here with the couple from uh, Bukumbay and Dos. Uh, at the back is their house. And guys, uh, Limil is asking for uh, 10,000 pesos to renovate his house. And he said that uh, he's out of job now because the company is closed. Mm -hmm. The company is closed. So 300 pesos daily needs uh, good for two months. But this is G1 Pakibut. Uh, this is his house. And he's asking for 32,000 pesos. 32,000 pesos uh, uh, financial donation to repair his house. Uh, he has three, four kids and his wife, no job, no job, no job, so because of type on audit, so he'll be asking for 500 pesos daily, uh, daily need, uh, di for daily consumption, then 500 pesos for two months. Good morning guys, Jan Paul Pakibot here and Oscar, this is Oscar uh, Mangobat, he is a very good person, he used to be my island hopping buddy, uh, he, he will rescue the guest if ever there's, uh, they find it hard to swim, and this is their house, all damaged, no roof, no wall, just uh, empty skeleton of the house, then this is he's not asking for specific uh, money but personally I think he'll be needing 40,000 or 50,000 pesos to repair his house and how many pila mo kabok igson ito there are nine of them in the family including her, his parents and I think for uh, nine members they'll be needing 500 pesos daily consumption good for maybe two months or three months and this is uh, Taril my one of my ping pong players and his mother and he's, uh, uh, she is asking for uh, 40,000 pesos to repair his house uh, damaged by Typhoon Rai or Typhoon Odette and he's asking for 300 pesos uh, daily budget for their daily consumption good for two months since her husband was a scuba diver and all of the uh, diving shop here in Lapu-Lapu were damaged the, y the yachts were damaged the pump boats were damaged so they don't have uh, they're running out of foods uh, we don't have electricity yet and uh, we don't have wi-fi and and uh, we have no drinking water also gasoline we have to line up so we're really asking for your financial help or uh, donations uh, primarily to rebuild this house uh, her house and their daily consumption and this is Tochi Pangatungan is asking for uh, financial support to repair his house but he's not uh, uh, saying any specific amount and he has no job no job no job right now and he's asking for a daily uh, budget for his consumption how many kids one one kid then uh, 
again he's not asking for a specific amount so he's hoping that uh, you'll just uh, he, he's, he, he's willing to accept any amount you will send to him this Adam and their house is damaged by typhoon dry typhoon audit and he's asking for 30,000 pesos uh, for uh, to repair his house and he's asking for 300 pesos for his daily consumption uh, to survive for two months so that's 300 pesos times 60 days and this is uh, Cecilio and he's asking for, uh, for your uh, financial support uh, he's uh, estimating an amount of 15,000 pesos to repair his house and uh, daily needs of 300 pesos and then, good morning John Paul Pakibot here once again uh, we are here in Bagumbayan Ono uh, Maribago Lapu-Lapu City, Cebu, Philippines this is the mother of John Lee Blasi, one of my ping pong players and this is her house damaged by Typhoon Rai, Typhoon Audit and this part is this has no walls already at the back no walls this has no roof then most of the scrap metals are on my back then her husband was a construction worker and no job right now because uh, most of the people don't have job so no money to pay for his work then she is asking 40,000 pesos for the rebuild of her house and uh, 300. Uh, 300, 300 pesos for uh, her daily consumption good for two months so that's 300 pesos times 60 days uh, right now Bagumbayan has no uh, water no electricity no com internet connection then the city cannot properly function yachts pump boats uh dive shops were damaged most of us don't have work right now so we're isolated so we're hoping for your help your financial help uh donations then i will put the uh my paypal account and east west bank account and gcash account under this youtube video then once you've given the money uh, for the repair of your house i will personally monitor the the construct, uh, reconstruction of your house then i will make another video of her receiving the 300 uh, 18, pesos for her uh, daily consumption uh, thank you very much i hope you will share this video to your friends whoever who can donate and help us thank you is the victim so typhoon rai typhoon audit this is in front of the sea so it's very scary because the wind is strong and the tide is the wave is also getting stronger We don't have electricity, we don't have, uh, we're running out of food, then we're, we have to line up just to have a bottle of water, uh, no internet connection, so that's why this video is delayed, so we're really asking for your help, uh, financial help, then if you will donate money, I will be posting this my PayPal account in the description box below this youtube video my Swiss bank account and my gcash account this is the tag maribago used to be island hopping resort hotels are closed then dive, dive shop water sports uh, business are down so people don't have jobs no money no income no food for their family so it's really hard 
nothing is working right then running out of foods running out of water uh, we have to light up for gasoline then we can't even <coughs> withdraw money from for example GCAS or uh, ATM we have to line up everything is really uh, worse even worse than the pandemic itself so guys please help us this used to be a uh, water sports facilities we have jet skis para sailing banana boat also closed no guest nothing the typhoon happened december 16 and now january 1 2022 and still no operation nothing no money so guys please help us i'll be putting my paypal account uh, swiss bank account and gcash under this youtube video thank you this is how the school looks now all trees were down but Okay, Rama? This is the damage of the school. Mostly roof were missing. And this is the place where we put the table tennis tables. This room is damaged. This is the school stage where they let us use the space. It's all damaged.